There's this great big tree here. Massive big tree, look. Even got a little doorway, look, for the fairies. A little doorway there, look. Yeah, the girl passed me, she didn't even look. I, I, I think I could have been invisible to her. Maybe I am a ghost already. Anyway, I'm, it's good to record the wood. Because it's getting better. There's the steps. I just zoom in. And we're coming to a cleared area. There's the steps up to the wood. Like I said, I'm not going up there today. I'm doing a round trip down. I'm going to concentrate more on videoing this side of the hill fort. Because this is where they're concentrating on chopping, clearing and hacking. And strimming, and raking. And of course, obviously, with it being winter, it, it, it does look bare. I mean, the trees, none of them got leaves. It's completely different when the leaves are on the trees. You get a canopy then, you don't see so much anyway. But there's the steps going up. I have to, I know some people say, oh, we all know that. But there are people that watch my videos who don't know. They've got no idea about what's going on up here. They could just see this video and don't know about all the others I've done. Unless they hunt around. Now there we've got a bunch of sticks. They've been there a while now. But all, I've seen people clearing all this, picking up twigs, bringing them down, bringing them down. Um, they're just waiting for the... The go ahead to cut all these trees out. And they want to go. They do want to go further up. They want to expose the skeleton of the hill fort. But they're going to cause a lot of trouble as well because um, all the soil and all that, the leaves. I mean, the roots hold these banks together, for example. You take the tree down, the whole lot's going to come down. I don't know what they think they're doing. I don't think they know, some of them. Of course, the idea is for me is to get up on there and walk through, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. I might do a small patch a bit further along. I can't see any fresh green at the moment. This is all stuff they've done over the winter months, but it's been dead anyway. As we go along a bit further, we start starting to see the cliff face. And of course, you've got all down here as well, which is all part of the hill fort, don't forget. All this is one big part of Rampart in a way, going all the way down. Yeah, and it's the trees up there where old Greybeard and all that is. Those are the ones that are under most immediate threat. These ones up here. A lot have fallen down here. They've been encouraged to fall anyway over the years. Some people say they're not safe anyway. But uh, I can't see any f what I call fresh chopping yet. Not fresh chop. I don't think they've done any chopping this week. It doesn't look clean. Well, that's the sort of pile you'll get. And as you can see, it's clearing. And that would be an interesting feature up there. And that little ridge there would be an interesting place to look. I mean, like I said loads of times, in many ways, I do like archaeology. And, and what it exposes for us about our history, you see. So, but it's very awkward to actually walk on that bit. If you want to get in there and walk along there, that's hard work because it's on a slope. That's on a slope, you see. So if you started, say you think, oh, I think I'll go up there and walk along. You'd have to try and find a track. I mean, it'd be interesting to get beyond that ridge there and that flat bit there and have a look up there. That would be good. But you can see that they are doing it, though, because, look, there's lots of branches down here. Um, 
Yeah, oh yes, this is all new. Not that new, but new. new. Within the last six months. Yeah, look at all this. This has been cut and flattened, look. Yeah, it'd be very interesting up on that ridge. Yeah, I bet they find stuff, you know. I'm having to walk very gingerly because it is muddy and slippery. Yeah, this looks new. I think they cover the ends with mud to look like we haven't done it. Yeah, the, this is new. Look, if, you, if I zoom in, you can see by the end of that how white and clean that is. Yeah, this is where she said that um girl called Jodie said... They were chopping. Yeah, and you can see that ridge. You can see my two favourite trees there, look. That I... We stand up there and look out over Sand Bay, up on that that cliff top there. And what they're doing, they're clearing down below it, and there's still another ridge there. Yeah, they've actually they've done a lot. And let me just get back up over there on that bank. Yeah, they've done a lot here. What I'll do, I'll stop in a minute to take some photos. References these big trees, look. God, yeah, they have done a lot. I mean, look at this. This is this is quite a wide piece they've chopped there, look. Yeah, and the leaves, the green leaves are showing now. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to stop. Right, they've chopped and cut on a very long way now. There's um, logs chopped, clipped all the way along here. All the way along. This is the north side. None of this is safe along here either, by the way. Yeah, they've, they've, they're still going, going and going and going. They've cleared loads. Look. They've cleared loads and loads. This is all going. This is all going and they don't care a shit. They don't care. Business incentive, isn't it? Look at it all. It's clearing the lot. There's a jogger coming now. That's a nice big tree. And there's one up there. It's a lovely sort of Scottish type plant. That one there. He's had his vines cut. Piles and piles of disaster. And there's all the rocky outcrops up there, look. Somebody come and let's turn off for a minute. Alright, here we are, down to the bench. You can the Burnback Pier is coming into view now. The sea. The, I'll be putting my hat and scarf on any minute now because I can just begin to feel the breeze. But anyway, um, there's a path going up through there, look. There's some sort of big bird. That could be a raven, I think, yeah. Anyway, just up there where those people are walking, there's a turning going off down to the coastal path or straight up the spine of the um, hill fort. They seem to have stopped the clipping just where that post is there. They haven't come along this bit yet. I'm very tempted to go in up that path, of course, as you know, but um, it's a bit late in the day for me to start going in there now. Um, but it won't be long before they're in here and all these little pathways will disappear. Look at all these trees here. And all this is going to be scrubbed, raked, chopped. The little holly bushes, the ferns, the mosses. Um, I can see little birds flying around there, not knowing what what's going to happen to them. All this is going to go as well, but there is a pathway leading up through there. And I think it's terribly sad, and I probably, I don't know whether I will say any more, actually. I might keep this to myself, because 
no one seems to be doing anything. I've been providing my videos and my photos and people do appreciate them. But there's nothing anyone can do and nobody seems to care. Despite global warming, climate change, deforestation, capitalism rules, cows replace trees. Anyway, I was up, up in that area. It'd be just down here. I didn't get, get very far, actually. I didn't get anywhere near up here or anything. Because I, I decided to go up. I climbed up, up the cliffside. But I thought I'd come and do a bit because I need to keep an eye on what they're doing. And that was quite interesting to see how far they've got. And they've done that. I and mean, I've been up here several times this year. And I, I was up here not long ago. None of that was there. They're working like Trojans. They're working like I said in another video, like in a frenzy to get stuff done. You see all these lovely little bushes here? There's little catkin bushes out a minute ago. You know, all these little holly bushes, all these little bushes, elderberries. This is all habitat. It's all going to be taken away. It's all going to be taken away. And like I said, the, the, I just walked a small section the other day. Just a very, very small section. Imagine all the wildlife in there. Imagine all the birds and insects and stuff that live in there. And the plants. Look how lush it is. They want to scrug it all away. Strip it bare. I think they've got a mud disaster on their hands when they do it. I don't agree with that. No, I don't agree with it. <sighs> yeah, there's another way up there. I think I went up up there somewhere. I think I got to about here, but I was deep in 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 the wood there on Monday, about four days ago. I came in down the bottom here, and. Uh, followed an old deer track and got in and then I climbed up, up the cliff up through a gully I found a gully uh, here's another way up there look. little ways in that people use to get up to the wood or to go for some peace in there. There's even bulbs grown here. Some people have probably had their ashes put in here by the way. Thinking it was going to be peaceful forever. There we got Steve home. Yeah I'll have to put my hat and scarf and gloves on in a second. Well, I feel better actually for coming out not staying in. I feel so much better. Getting the fresh air, I believe in fresh air treatment, me. I don't like being in at all when it's sunny. I get a lot done when it's on the horrible days. And then we've got um Yeah, I don't think it'll come out very well. I've done something, I've messed around with the camera. I'm going to turn it off 